Good morning. Welcome to the gym. Monday morning, as I begin this, seven after seven, it's going to be a different day today, that's for sure. Not in any real hurry to get over to flip four. Uh, we got a shit ton of running around and materials to pick up today. A lot of administrative stuff to get done today. So, need to get that squared away. That's going to be a big part of today. Might get some work done over at the house, but more importantly, we got to get some things. Haven't had a video in like two days. I filmed, didn't like the way those videos came out. Really, we weren't doing a whole lot of nothing. And I hate to say that. I mean, we were doing work, mud work painting work we started doing some painting but i realized i didn't have the wall color paint i had ceiling paint plenty of ceiling paint but somewhere along the way i got mixed up and i didn't have any wall color so we're gonna get the wall color ordered this morning i need to stay on this side of the water that way i can go pick that up i gotta pick up flooring i gotta pick up countertop i gotta order appliances doors I've already ordered some fixtures, so again, today's gonna be a lot of picking shit up, but we'll get to that. That's gonna be today. Getting ready to start the workout, the beginning of week number eight on the workout, and I think either week number two, it's probably like week number three of the fasting. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I punched them a couple of times. I'm kidding. Um, I have fucked up over this past weekend especially. I uh, went to two hockey games Saturday and Sunday, both days I was drinking. I mean, it is what it is. And also on Saturday, I ate past 8 o'clock. I fasted until 12 o'clock the next day. And I know people are going to say that's going to mess up my diet and everything like that. Hey, I'm trying. I'm trying. And I'm losing weight. I know there's a mixed consensus of whether or not the fasting even works or whether or not it slows down the metabolism. Hey, for me, it seems to be working. Yesterday, I was the lightest that I've been. Now, mind you, I was down in my skivvies, but I was weighing 258.4. Okay, we're talking about a guy who started out at 275. 258.4, I gotta make sure I say it right, don't say one. I don't know why I was saying 180 something or one. 60 something the other day when it clearly was a two sorry about that um i'm i'm slow or dyslexic sometimes uh, i mix up twos and ones that's not good anyways yeah the lightest that i've been 258.4 and i feel like i'm losing almost a fucking pound a day doing the fasting uh, plus working out plus running every single day i did take Saturday off on the workout and it was because I had a pulled muscle in my back But Sunday yesterday I went super hard. I'm gonna go hard this morning. I gotta knock out my workout I'm doing punch. Uh, I'm doing push-ups curls crunches I've already ran a lap because I've had to move my damn truck down the street because they're doing the road construction again Getting ready to dig this street up again talking about this is gonna take two to four weeks again if y'all think that I suck at flipping houses, you should see this crew out here working on this street. I ain't here to put nobody on blast, though, even though I can't stand them. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the workout. Let me know how I'm, how I'm looking, how's the form looking as I'm doing these push-ups and these curls and these crunches. Let's get it on a Monday, week eight, week three of the workout and the fast. And also week number two of flip number four. A lot of numbers right there. Make sure you say them correctly. Let's go. Ah, how thin's your boy looking? I think I'm looking kind of thin. I think I'm looking kind of thin. Definitely losing some weight. My target weight, and forgive me, I've been scratching on my back right there. Uh, my target weight is 250. If I get down to 250, will I not be fat? Or do I need to go even harder? Finger down the throat, get down to 240. Ooh. I've also been doing more push-ups. I'm doing sets of 30 and 25s. Just doing about a buck 50 on the push up, but I can knock them out quick. <laughs> 30. Ah. Yeah, buddy. Nice. Ah. 
Oh God. Oh God, that sucks. Oh God, that sucks. Also, I don't know, because I ran first thing this morning, I probably already exerted quite a bit of my energy on the run. However, I like that. I like to trick the body. Don't keep it stagnant. Don't keep it the same. It just sucks more. I only have 50 more push-ups. I'm gonna bust these out real quick and get with you in a little bit. All right, start of week eight. What's it gonna be? It ain't bad right there. 262, oh shit, y'all can't see it. Uh, 262, got the camera in my hand and let's do it again with no camera. 259.4, 259.4. One more for good measure. 259, 258.8, 259. Okay, so somewhere in there. Um, whether I gained a little bit, I don't think I gained anything, but uh, I know I'm right around 260, so good deal. All right, let's get this day rocking and rolling. Hey, good morning. All right, workout's done. Shower's done. And getting on the run. So it's after 8, probably getting close to 8.30. Kind of got to dick around a little bit because I got to pick up paint. I got to wait on that paint to get ordered. And I got to wait for that paint to be ready. And I got a lot of other stuff I got to go pick up today. Uh, possibly two vanities, flooring. I know that there's at least the dishwasher that I'm gonna use at Lowe's, so we'll see if they've got that. Um, I don't really need to take that today. I could come back and get that tomorrow because I think there's other stuff that I need to get as well. I need some cabinet paint and uh, some other things. I've got a list of shit that needs to get done today. Like I said, a lot of administrative stuff. And if we can get over there and get some painting done, hey, that would be great. We're just going to have to see how things work out. I really need to get my criminal record today. I'm hopeful to be able to make some headway with that. I haven't been able to make any headway with that. I just haven't had the time. And that's about it. Um, in other news, I do apologize for the lack thereof videos. I had some stuff filmed that just wasn't good enough. And you guys will see where we're at today. What else? Did a lot of thinking over the weekend. What the hell is going on with the After Prison Show? Man, I am whew, very close to just... Very close to feeling like I just need to shut that damn thing down. But I've got a new idea. Um... Something, something, something new. Uh, I've been putting some thought into it, and I don't know if it's ever going to turn into anything. I'd like to do another podcast, a totally different podcast. Nothing after prison related, but maybe... Oh, squirrel, I hope you make it. You better go, go, go. There wasn't a car coming, but he was trying to cross the interstate. I'm sure he made it. Nothing after prison related, but a podcast, like a little a little kick in the boba, but maybe with somebody else. Maybe with like a, a, a co-host. I think could be kind of cool. I got some people in mind who I would like to see do that. And uh, you never know. Maybe we could put that together. Definitely thought quite a bit of it over the weekend. Thought of a couple of skip videos that I'd like to do. Even a prison-related skip video that I think would be really, really good if I could put it together. But just talking out loud. And that's about it. Let me go get Damon. Let's hit Lowe's and see what we can do I know we got to go to another store this home emporium store they've got the countertop they've got the flooring found it over the weekend so let's go see what all we can get accomplished in terms of materials it's a big materials day so let's go make it happen hey good morning and guess what getting ready to be leaving from Lowe's 
$1,400 later. So we got a major, major materials run here. We got a front door, back door, two vanities. We got new locks for the doors, a little bit of spray paint needed and waiting on, hopefully, a dishwasher. That'll put us at $2,000. Flooring's gonna be 2,500. Ain't gonna be able to pick up the countertop today. Where the hell did I park at? Damn, I'm walking all over hell and back. So Damon's waiting way over there with all this stuff. I gotta go way over, way over yonder to get to the truck and then try to get all this stuff loaded up, go pick up this flooring. Paint should be ready as well. Uh, it's gonna be about a $5,000 type of day here. But that's gonna be most of the materials and that's gonna keep us busy for a while. Ain't no doubt about that. We'll be able to rock and roll. Gotta get that new front door, back door put on uh, before we can paint those rooms. And I like installing doors. I'm pretty good at it. Got the spray foam and the shims. So good deal. My wife helped us. She ordered the paint. She helped pick out these, uh, these, these finishes. Vanities were only 300 bucks. Nice vanities. They come with the mirror. Uh, similar vanity to the one that we put upstairs at flip three. And look at Sanford and Son, first of all. And then there's us right there. There's Damon. He's just waiting with all that shit right there. $1,400 worth of shit right there. Joe, don't hit it now. All right. Get loaded up and on to the next spot. All right, Damon on the camera. 9.33 in the morning and we are literally just now leaving from Laos. Uh, shout out to Damon. Shout out to the nice lady working in there who got me set up on uh, Lowe's Pro. I mean, really Lowe's Pro. I've been at the Lowe's credit card, but that don't mean you're Lowe's Pro. Lowe's Pro is contractor uh, deals and specials. And if you spend $2,500, you get a gift card and you get special savings. I had mentioned this a while back at another Lowe's, they had first mentioned this to me. You know, if you're spending so much money on materials, you get a contractor discount to some degree. I don't know exactly what it is, but uh, shit, all right. So, what do we got? We got two doors, two vanities, and a dishwasher. $2,000 is about what that, about what that was. $1,400 in the first purchase, $518 in the second purchase and Lowe's Pro as well. Now we're getting ready to go pick up flooring. That's $2,500 right there. And I'm not sharing these numbers for any kind of, uh, you know, flex or no shit like that. This is just what you, this is what it is. This is part of the budget. These materials, they cost. I'll tell you one thing. I did not anticipate front and back door. I didn't include that in my cost initially. And I did not include the roof. Saying 17.5 is the number that we're trying to stay at. Ah, it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. All right. So as if we're not loaded up enough. Uh, one, door, one door has already slid. Fuck. As if we're not loaded up enough. Well, we're getting ready to go load up a shit ton more in floor. Let's get it. Leaving from Lowe's. I mean... Sherman, Sher Sherwin Williams, leaving from Sherwin Williams. Uh, picked up five gallons of wall color. That was $86. So we got that. Them guys are really nice. Talked to them about flipping houses. They were like, you flip, don't you? I was like, yeah, man. I was talking to them about houses built nowadays versus houses built back in the day. I don't know if I've shared that before with you guys, but Man, them old houses that we've done, flip one, two, and three, all those houses were 1940, 1950 houses. This 2006 though, man, this joint, it kind of feel like it was built out of cardboard. I mean, it, it kind of does. I know you ain't just, boy, about to throw the camera on you, jumping out in front of me, road rage. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm gonna do better. I feel good today. Uh, got a good workout in this morning. Got Damon with me. He's ready to bust his fucking ass today. We're working till midnight tonight. And, uh, yeah, I'm kidding about that, too. You already know. Probably ain't gonna put in eight hours over there. Probably ain't gonna put in four hours over there today. But, uh, we'll go hit Home Emporium, final store for today. 
Let's go get the flooring. We might even get to run in some floor today. How crazy would that be? I don't think that's going to happen, but I can tell you one thing. We got a dishwasher. We got two doors. We're going to be doing painting today and putting in doors. That's what we're going to be doing today. Oh, and we finally got the wall color that I thought that we had. Turns out we didn't have that at all. We, but we, what we do got is we got 12 fucking gallons of ceiling paint. So, you know, for two more houses, we ain't going to need no ceiling white. That's for damn sure. All right. Let's go, uh... Let's go get some floor. All right, leaving from Lowe's. I mean, Home Emporium. $2,600 later, almost $2,700. Jesus Christ, my budget for flooring was $2,500. And I'm uh, $200 over on the flooring. So, it'd be like that sometimes. We got good flooring. We got really, really good flooring. 37 boxes. I might have gotten a box uh, over in terms of extra that we're gonna need. I mean, look at our load too, by the way. We are freaking, <laughs> we are loaded. Doors, vanities, dishwasher, paint on the other side there. Damon on the other side as well. And man, we're gonna be loaded like a mug. Heading out to the house, so. Let's go get loaded up. I thought I was gonna have to load that shit by my by myself. I was about to be pretty mad about that, but uh, they came through in the clutch for me. Uh, very nice people up in there. Um, you know, when it comes to LVP flooring, two dollars and thirty something cent, two dollars and thirty six cents a square foot is amazing uh, for flips with under laminate included and waterproof. So these were $70 a box. That's pretty expensive, but these do almost 30 square feet. So you can't beat that. All right, let's get loaded up. My truck broke down the last time I came here to get flooring. I told the lady in there, she said, well, you're not the first person that's happened to. Oh, damn sure I hope it doesn't happen today. Well, y'all pray for us. That's all I gotta say. We just got the flooring and this joint is hitting the Carolina squat for real. We got the, uh, this is probably overloaded like a motherfucker. And we got a long fucking ride to get out to the house. Uh, we're gonna see how she rides. And uh, I don't even know where we're going. I guess I'll go out that one. I gotta turn around. We're gonna see how she rides. We're gonna hope she rides okay. And if she don't ride okay, um, we're gonna have to transfer some, ooh. oh boy. We're gonna have to transfer some weight for sure. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking we might need to transfer some of them boxes. This guy looks like a walker from The Walking Dead. What we got going on here? crazy. He ain't doing nothing but trying to make a hole in the fence. I mean, really, it looked like he was trying to do something. Okay. I think we are going to transfer some boxes off to the back of the trailer. Ten boxes to the back of the trailer would do justice. It made me feel a lot better about this ride. But... On the plus side, hey, we got everything. We got everything. All right, don't stop filming yet. I want to show the truck just to let you know that we ain't fucking bullshit. Let me see this real quick. I mean, dog. We so we we are so fucking low. Yeah, we hitting the Carolina squat big time. We're gonna put ten boxes on the trailer. I mean, we're squishing my back wheels. 10 on the trailer. No, I said, let me film real quick before you get sanded. All right, we're just getting over to the house. It's 11.30 in the morning. Hey, we actually made it over here and we're getting ready to rock and roll. 11.33. Uh, hell of a ride coming over here. Truck was all over the place. That suspension, boy. 
I can't even imagine how much weight we got in the back of that truck. Probably 2,000 pounds of flooring. Uh, probably every bit of it. All right, anyway, so a couple things I didn't get a chance to share with you guys. Uh, my ceiling repair looks like shit. I hate it. It looks so bad. I'm going to sand this out. This is my second time going over this trying to make this swirl pattern. So I did swirl in this area, and it's not as bad. This is fine. I can live with this. This is fine. I, I think I can live with this and all of this. It's just this section here is horrendous and that section there is horrendous as well. So get that sanded out and then uh, figure it out. Um, Damon's getting ready to do the final sanding in this room, in the bathroom. Also, I need to fix this section up here that didn't come out so great. Maybe I can just sand these corners. I got swirl in here, but the corners are really uh, predominant. So um the bathroom this is it for the mud we're getting ready to sand this out and this guy will be good to go we're going to go ahead and uh, put paint on the ceiling in here and while damon's sanding in here i'm going to get the painting in this back bedroom this back room this is about to be our done room so we did a coat of flat paint on the ceiling over top of the semi-gloss i got my wall color right there we're gonna get the walls going in here and we may even run just a little bit of flooring in here. That way we can stack all the flooring on top of that floor, move everything else back here as well while we work on the rest of the house. So we want this room to be done. Now, real quick, we got thin uh, flooring. I'm gonna take off these baseboards real clean, cut them with the knife and then, you know, get them off of here. And that way we can put the baseboard right on top of the flooring and we don't got to do quarter rounds, so save on some cost there. Uh, my game plan is get that bathroom squared away, get that ready for ceiling paint, get a coat of ceiling paint on that, get that hallway sanded, get that squared away, get this back bedroom squared away, and maybe even get the back door and front door put on today. I don't know that we got enough time in the day to get all of those things done. It's really not a lot, but it sounds like it's not a lot. It definitely takes some time. So. Let's quit talking about it and let's get doing it. I'll show you what that room looks like when we got some paint on the walls. All right, two o'clock in the afternoon and you gotta love days like this. So, bing bong, front door is out. She is gone, all cleaned up. There's the, the new door right there. And I'll be damned, son of a bitch got the wrong swing. I got a right hand swing, I think is what this is. And I need a fucking left hand swing. Ain't that something? Yep, right hand swing. I need the left. So, guess what I get to do? I get to go back to Lowe's. Some bitch. Damn, Joe, you don't know your ones from your twos and your left from your right. It's, it's a pain in the ass trying to figure out if it's a right or a left hand swing when you're trying to remember. And I, I must have misremembered. So, we also got some paint on, on the wall back here. We got flooring loaded up in here. That's like uh, not even not even all of it. There's still about 15 boxes on the porch. And bing bong, you see that paint on the wall? Just know, hey, shit looking like a shit looking like a turn, like a an apartment flip. Yeah, it is, man. So this is gonna need two coats of paint. Ain't got but five gallons of flat. You already know we're probably gonna need more flat, but it is what it is. That'll get us pretty damn far. I gotta go run the lows, see if they even got a door. I don't get no phone signal out here. And uh, hope and pray they got a left-hand swing. Is it a left? See, I already forgot. Left or right? Left. Take it back. I gotta take it with us. Gotta take it back to the other lows. All right, be back shortly. Shit, hey, leaving from Lowe's. Got the door right there, 369 or some shit like that. Gonna return the other door. They say I can take it to that Lowe's. I said, hey, I didn't buy it from that Lowe's. I said, I bought it from a different one. So hopefully I can take the door right back there. I'll take it back there tomorrow when we're slowing down, when we got a little breathing room. Today's just been, today's been rocking and rolling. Getting the materials, uh, administrative stuff I was talking about. I made a phone call to the state police. Let that linger for a moment. Try to get my criminal record so I can get my fucking class A. And um, they were very helpful. So 
getting the ball rolling with that. And yeah, this isn't the same exact door. I mean, it's pretty close. This is a steel door versus a fiberglass. The steel is cheaper and it's primed and ready for paint. Oh, I should do my Ford like that, except I don't have a diesel. Yeah, that's nice. I like the yellow. Um, we got to paint this door. This door is like a, just almost, almost is about as beige as my fucking teeth. Door. Oh boy, I got a door open. What door is it? I ain't got time to stop. We gotta get back and get this door on. Can't have no door. Can't can't not have a door on the front of the house when uh when we need a door on the front of the house. I, I get it. The fucking door is open, truck. I get it. How long are you gonna do that? How long are you gonna do it? Let's get back and put the door on. All right, let's see what she looks like. <sighs> Ain't a bad looking door, is it? So, I think it looks damn nice. Beats the old door that was up there, that's for damn sure. And that old door is that guy right there. Ooh, she was ugly, right? All right, so doorbell wires right there. Uh, this fit in here snug like a glove problem is though is if you look at the top of the window right there it's like that so we need to try to shim this money yeah <sighs> we got to get that guy up yeah we do or get that side down which i don't think down is going to be a possibility so shim up and let's see if we can straighten that out uh the door opens and shuts like a dream so had we gone with this door and put this door in, the door would have opened this way with that right hand swing. And that might not seem like that big of a deal. It might even seem better so you're not hitting the closet door right here. However, it's all about light switches, right? So if the door swung open like this, then you gotta go behind the door to get to the light switch. Yeah, ain't nobody got time for that. You gotta have it the right way. So here's the first door, the fiberglass guy. And then there's a steel door. I actually kind of like the steel better. So you can see we got a little bit of a gap right here. That gap should go away if we shim up that corner right there. Damon! Yeah. I'm going to need your help. I can't do it by myself. Shout out to Damon. Damon been busting ass today. So I showed you uh, that back room that we got painted. And yeah, it looks like shit, just to be honest. Uh, we're gonna get a second coat on here probably today. Damon doesn't know it yet, but we will. And that should that should look really good with that second coat. That flat actually looks good though. Fuck that semi-gloss in these rooms. Uh, here's our flooring right here. Um, also, I didn't get a chance to take off the baseboard. You can see where I started to, and it was just it was just crumbling apart. So guess what? I got a quarter round. I'd rather spend money on quarter round. Then fuck up the walls and the baseboard. Nah, man. That's just what we're going to do. Okay, Damon, you up in here painting, though. Damn right, this shit look good. All oh, them holes covered up, too? No. Yeah, Damon. Huh? There's a couple of them I missed, but... Well, don't worry about them. If you know where they're at, nobody else will. So Damon likes to believe that this is blood on the wall right there. Thinks somebody might have been shooting up in this room and just... Tah, Hit a little blood or something, maybe a diabetic shot. Uh, Damon, I do need your help, buddy. All right, can I get out two seconds? Yep. All right, so let me get a level real quick while we wait on Damon. There's our back door right there, which is also steel. So guess what? The back door and the front door match. Good deal. Ah, level. Yeah, man. Joe doing stuff today. We sure are. We sure are doing stuff. I ain't even got to worry about this door falling. It's so snug in here. All right. All right. Good deal. And ironically, it's almost level. So what are we doing? We're shimming up that back side. So we're going to go like that. Yeah, we're going to get a little more level. I just don't know why it looks like that. Damn. Get a $300 door. It's going to look like a $300 door. Shit. I don't think there's enough shimming in the world that's going to make that go away, but we're going to try. 
I think to myself, when am I ever going to be able to get a video edited? 3.47 in the afternoon and bing bong, front door game. Boy though, yeah. So we got some shims, put a big old block up there as a piece of a shim and we're going to spray foam this money and uh, new hardware right here looks really good. And then from the outside, how's she looking? Well, she's still a little crooked, man, but she's a lot better than she was. Or maybe a little bit better than she was. Um, <laughs> it is what it is. There's not much I could do about that. For whatever reason, it just did that. And uh, if the weather strip was down a little better, maybe it wouldn't look so crooked. I don't know. It is what it is. It's a brand new freaking door. It looks good. Adds a little bit of light up into here. I wanted to put a bigger uh, window door here, but um, this was the one we went with. So, cool deal. Let me get this cut off. Cut off these little shims. We're going to spray foam all up in them gaps. And then that is the front door. She's in there. She's in there. Yeah, a little bit of, I guess. Uh. All right. Well, let's not entertain that out there. She'll whooping his ass, won't she? I ain't see it. Oh, gee, she'll beating the shit out of that kid. Uh -oh. Ain't my life. Uh, She's talking about the old black guy and the white girl. White lady. Oh, I don't know. It looked like. Oh, maybe that's what it was. I thought it was a kid out there. But anyways. All right. Jesus Christ. Hey, we're done, y'all. We are fucking done. So, boom. There's the front door. She got the silly putty all around her. She good to go. And, uh, yeah, man. She real good to go. Uh, we're going to put new casing around there. All the flooring's in, the vanities are in. Uh, crazy to think that the price tag was just sitting right there on the trailer with some very <clears throat> interesting folks, to say the least, frequenting up and down these streets, to say the least. But yeah, so all that's in. This is going back tomorrow. Uh, this guy's going in tomorrow. And what did we get done today? Well, I called the state police. I had to do that from a criminal background. I got a little bit more information on what I need to do with that. So hopefully I can get that squared away tomorrow morning before we get rolling over here. We went and picked up materials, two vanities, two doors, three doors in total, uh, and a shit ton of floor. And what else? Uh, shit, I, I, I don't... Oh, and the dishwasher. We got that in there as well too. Uh, and then some paint. And then we came over here and we painted so the hallway we got one coat of paint in this hallway it's still wet uh, and then this back bedroom i know it ain't gonna look too good right this second but we got two coats of paint up in here and yeah tomorrow will be the real telltale how this is looking but i think it's gonna come out looking real good that silver drop with that white casing always looks good nothing that a little Caught can't fix down there where Joe was trying to take that baseboard off and that wasn't working. We're gonna have to quarter round instead. So, hey, uh, we're knee deep in painting. We got this room painted. We got two coats in this room, one coat in the hallway. Uh, Damon even got this room painted as well, one coat in this room. We're probably, we think we got about half of that five left. Yeah, probably got about half the five gallon bucket left. So hopefully we got enough because we still got to do this room and we got to do the living room. Kitchens and bathrooms, they're all going to be semi-gloss. So we got some semi-gloss. Anyways, folks, that's all for today. We got that front door in. The joint is looking good. I like the way that came out. And in terms of what time it is, well, folks, it's time to wrap it up. It's 4.53, which means we're going to hit all the fucking traffic going home. Uh... Friday, we sat in traffic for over an hour. So, 
I know we're gonna be doing something similar today. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed rocking with me today, and I'll look forward to sharing more with you tomorrow. Take care now.